This is MMA Outbreak. The last fight for today's UFC 148 pay-per-view card is a trilogy that's completed between Tito Ortiz and Forrest Griffin. We're going to start off with Zach Arnold first on this fight. Zach, I'm going to open up Forrest Griffin a lot higher than he was last time out. It's going to be minus 295. The comeback on Tito Ortiz is going to be plus 225. Give me your thoughts and give me your bet. It's amazing he's only a 75% favorite going into that fight because Tito Ortiz has had, what, one signature win in how long, how many years? He had one win against Ryan Bader, and all of a sudden... Everyone forgets all the losses that he's had. And I, I cannot see a path to victory for Tito in this fight. I can't see him winning by submission. I can't see him winning by decision. I can't see him winning by knockout. Uh, I can see all those paths for Forrest in this fight. Okay, so Zach Arnold is going to lay the juice on Forrest Griffin here. It's minus 295, so it's going to be 1475 to win $500 on Forrest. Let's throw it over to John. John, what do you think about this fight? Tito Ortiz versus Forrest Griffin 3. Zach makes some good points, man, but I'm going with Tito. I am. I'm, I'm th I feel like I'm throwing logic out the window here. I, here's the thing about Forrest, right? And we saw this at UFC Rio. We saw that he, he does not want to be in there. He, I mean, he didn't want to do interviews. He, he seemed like he didn't even want to be in the cage. And there have been whispers for a while now that he wants out of the sport. He's paid his dues. He's made his money. He wants to take his ball and go home. This is Tito's last fight, all right? And call me crazy, but I think he has enough juice left to take two rounds from Forrest Griffin. I think that's all that he needs. I think he's going to take the first round. Uh, he's, it's going to be a close second round, but I think he's going to take it. He's probably going to get the snot beat out of him in the third. Not enough for a 10-8, but he's going to walk home with the 29-28 decision. I'm taking Tito Ortiz. I think that he's going to be pumped up for his last fight, probably in mixed martial arts ever. So I'm going with him. All right, so John Luther sticking it out there. He's going with Tito Ortiz. Still has some faith in him. Plus 225. It's going to be $500 to win 11.25 on Tito Ortiz. And like when the line opened the first few bouts, it was closer to uh, pick him, and it was a close fight. I believe both bouts ended a split decision. So we'll see how this one plays out. And again, UFC 148. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. Thanks a lot for joining us, and thanks to our special guests, John Luther and Zach Arnold. Great job as always. Like I said before, you don't get better information than you get from those guys. Thanks, guys. And for those interested in keeping up with the Odds Breaker Show, make sure you follow us on Twitter, at MMA Oddsbreaker, for all the latest updates. For Miguel Literati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.